Now we're going to look at another sorting algorithm now. This one's called bubble sort. Uh, bubble sort is pretty easy to think about and it's also pretty easy to program. Uh, but first we need a uh, randomly organized data set. So let's mix these up. All right. And here we go. All right. So with a bubble sort, the idea is that the card that you are currently looking at will kind of float its way through a deck and arrive at the, the correct position. Now you can either go to a bubble sort going forward or going backward. You can actually have them zigzag back and forth. But the idea is this. I'm going to start with a single card and I'm just going to keep comparing it to the thing next to it. And I'm either going to swap or move on. So 10 and 5. Well, 10 is greater than 5, so this means I should do a swap. 10 is greater than 7, so I should do a swap. 10 is greater than 4, do a swap. Greater than 6. So this process continues all the way up. And every single time I do this comparison, I do a swap, it goes to the end. Now, bear in mind that we just had the biggest value at the lowest position, so it maybe it'll look a little different this next time. Now we take 5, and we know that this part of our data set's uh, in, in position. As soon as we do one pass, we know one card is in the correct final position. So we compare 5 to 7, and we don't swap it. We move to the pos next position. We got 7 and 4. Well, we do swap it. 7 and 6, we do swap. 7 and 8, we don't swap. 8 and 9, we don't swap. 9 and 3, we do swap. 9 and 2, we do swap. And now 9 is in the correct position. Now notice, as I'm moving these bigger cards to the right, the smaller cards are also moving to the left. So one of the results here is that as you continue to do this bubble swap, everything is slowly kind of migrating to the position it needs to get to. So now I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Those guys get swapped. I can jump through these pretty quickly until I get to a position. Oh, I should have swapped them before. That's my mistake. Um, until I get to, well, now I skipped that. I was supposed to bring the six with me. So the six and three, the six is in the right position. And as I keep working my way through, we keep having one card bubble up to the top. And when I'm all done, this two has ended up in the right spot. So that's bubble sort. Uh, again, you can go from top to bottom or bottom to top. Uh, you could also kind of zigzag. So let's do it again, but this time with the zigzag. And this may actually makes it a little bit more efficient. So what's going to happen this time is over after the first pass, we'll be guaranteed that the highest card is in the correct position. And after the second pass, we'll be guaranteed the lowest card is in the right position. So highest card, swaps, 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 swap, 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 swap. 10 is now in the right position. I got that locked in. Now, instead of going from left to right, I'm going to go from right to left, but I'm going to take the lowest card and that's when I'm going to move forward. So in this case, I have the three, which is lower than a four, lower than an eight, lower than a nine, lower than a six, lower than a five, not lower than a two, but the two is lower than a seven, and the two is in the right position. All right, so what I've done is now got my two ends done. I now start from this end to work my way up with the, the larger card each time. So the larger card bubbles up, bubbles up, bubbles up. I get to the nine, the nine bubbles up. That goes into the right position, and now I go work my way down and four bubbles down. And what you notice pretty quickly is that these cards are now sorted. So if I can actually go through a pass without moving anything, uh, I can tell my algorithm that that means everything else is sorted, and I'm done. I don't need to do any more passes. So doing a bubble sort that zig zigzags back and forth is uh, relatively efficient and uh, not too difficult to code. But that's uh, another way to get cards in order. So if you have a mess, consider maybe using a bubble sort.